how to fill up an array of world or double world using a Z register in Mitsubishi Melsov with a CPU FX5U. Hello and welcome back. This is Gerd Zeller from Zeller Press Control, and here I have a small setup for you showing you what you can do to fill up a word array with values automatically. So I switch this on and I just push this button right here. I will fill up this array that you see right here with numbers that just increase by one step. And how is this made? It's pretty simple. It only needs three rungs of uh, program code. Here I show you how it's made as soon as I switch off simulator mode. So in order to do that mm, I have set up a start bit for the individual increasing and a start bit for automatic filling which can be switched off or on and then it can be filled automatically or Put the numbers in here manually. So I have a mbit 320 that goes over to a move where I move the value of uh, in the value that is written to D100. I move this over to the D200 using the index Z8. That means whatever value is in the C8 is added to the D100. So for example, if the value in, in C8 is 0, the value will be written in the D200. If the value in Z8 is 1, the value from D100 will be moved to D201. And in addition, to make this automatically, I have a bit on here, the 321, that I just toggle on and off on here. If this is toggled on and with the M320 turning on, it will automatically add one digit to the D100 and it will add one digit to the Z8 with the offset. We can see this live. Oh, I can show you also how it is made in the uh, visualization. So in order to write the, the, the Z register, I just put an input field right here where you can see numerical input. You can find this right here in objects, numerical display input, and it will be this item right here, numerical input. And I just put the device Z8 in there in order to write this manually. The same will be with the D100, also a um, numerical input, which is just written, uh, which I can just write a number in here. This one right here is just a bit switch, which you can also find in the object bit switch right here. If you drag this over, let's say to here, you can just put any value in here. I use the M320. I just make this for an example again, so you can see how it's done. And I make this uh, alternating. And if you mark this section right here, you can also switch on the lamp for this uh, regarding bit. And then you can see it being switched on and off. And here you can play with the style. You can give this another color, for instance, if it's on. And then you can see easily when it's on and off. And also you can see this right here. In this section you can um, change the status manually and see how the status will look once it's running. So this is for the M320, which I only toggle on and off. And the M320. 21 for the automatic filling 
which is actually switched on right here before this um, at p instruction. This the pretty much the same thing. You go ahead, you use a object again, take a bit switch, place it on here, and put the numbers M321 in. In this case, make it alternating and also change this here so your lamp is switched on and off and you can change the style again to whatever color you like maybe if it's on it's green you can check this again on here the display right here is made pretty simple this is only a numerical display which you can also find on here in the object and you will find it here using a numerical input which I can put right here, give it a name, the D200 and then fix the style, you can make a black color so you get a better background, you can change the size, the digits and so on and here you go. After this is done, you can just go ahead and start the simulator also start the simulator from the GT designer and then you can see it's working pretty easy so if you remember right I have this button right here this is the same address than here this is only made so you get an understanding on how I can do this this is to actually start the uh, start the filling of the array and here it you can switch on automatic mode or manual mode and if you put it in automatic mode the numbers will automatically increase by one you can see this also on here we have the d100 and we have the array that we have here the d200 which is uh, offset with the c8 and we have the c8 um, index here and we can see as soon as we push the button here it should start filling automatically by increasing the numbers and you can also see the numbers increase right here and that's pretty much it if you want to do this manually we just switch the man switch this off I can just manually and then just write a number in here which I can say start with the 10 push the button and the 10 will be in here increase the register by one put an 11 in here and go on just as you please with the number 12 and so on and then just fill it up there you go yep and this is how easy it's done that's pretty much it it's very simple you can fill up any um, any length what you want so the array can be 10 volts long can be 20 volts long it doesn't really matter and that's just the way it is to to fill up you can make an, an index you can make a, a history with something you can put a timer on here that you just um, increase it by time and whatever this is pretty much up to you and this is how you fill up the array with words or double words using a C-register in the Mitsubishi Melsoft FX5U CPU.